Courtesy of Miami Dolphins The Dolphins are back, and with them comes hopes of another championship parade in Miami. Yes, really, you read that correctly. Hey, we said, hopes, not expectations, we're not that crazy. Though it might seem like a long shot for the Dolphins to win their first Super Bowl since 1973, the reality is they are in the best position to win a title of all the professional teams in Miami. It's sad, but true. Ryan, Ten Hill is back. The Dolphins have their guys, now, eliminating an excuse for past losses that coach Adam Gase has been quick to use. And the Dolphins play a sport where it's much easier to shock the world with a hot month of play. The same can't be said for the other teams in Miami. They aren't close to resembling championship teams and don't have the luxury of playing a sport that allows seemingly average teams to be title contenders. The Miami Marlins are a bus trip, ferry ride, and helicopter flight from anything resembling a championship season. With Derek Jeter and company starting over, this season should be considered the first of what will likely be many tough, growing, pain seasons before the Marlins are playing in October again. Yes, the Marlins have two titles, both in seasons when they were the wildcard team, but those teams were stacked and received some help at the trade deadline. This Marlins team would need a miracle, not just a closer or a power-hitting outfielder, to make a World Series run. The Miami Heat might seem like the best bet to win a title in the short term, but objects in the rearview mirror appear closer than they truly are. The Heat is caught in the worst place to be in the NBA, the middle, with 42-40 to 40 seasons and a ceiling of, well, more 42-40 to 40 seasons. Bad contracts are being paid to role players, and big contracts are being paid to players the Heat would love to trade. That's no way to live, and it's definitely no way to catch lightning in a bottle and win 16 postseason games in today's NBA. The Heat was lucky to win one game in the playoffs against the Philadelphia 76ers last season. It's highly unlikely they put a team together in the next five seasons that can rocket to the level of play the elite teams occupy these days, all of that leaves the Miami Dolphins, somehow. The experts think the Finns will flat out suck. Nearly every publication that has put out a power ranking or 2019 mock draft has the Dolphins pegged as one of the worst teams in the NFL this season. But when it comes to football, anything can happen. It's not at all odd for a team to win a Super Bowl coming off a wildcard berth. It's happened numerous times in the past decade alone. Realistically, the Dolphins don't even need to beat the Patriots in the AFC East. The Finns simply have to beat New England once, maybe, if the two teams were ever to meet in the playoffs. In football, teams must win only once to move on. Could the Heat beat the Warriors once in June? It's not likely, but it could happen. Unfortunately, Miami would have to beat Golden State three more times to win a title. That is why the best team in the league wins an NBA title more often than the best team in the NFL wins a Super Bowl. It's about who's hot as much as it's about who's the best. With football on the horizon, it might seem as if the Dolphins have no shot at a title, but if you look around, they're actually closer than anyone else. That says a lot more about everyone else than it does about the Finns, but that doesn't make it untrue.